A fan of my YouTube channel shared this food idea with me. It's something she makes for her son, and he loves it. And I've made it many times already, and it is delicious. But it's also really, really easy. And therefore, I wanted to include it in my Cooking for One video series on YouTube. It's a no-crust pizza, which is good also for people who are gluten intolerant. I used to have a friend who was gluten intolerant. This would have been a good pizza for her. And for those on a keto diet, it's low in carbs. So let's make this no-crust pizza. I've got a smallish skillet heating on the stove here. And what I have here is mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella is easy to find in the store and I weighed this and it came in at about four ounces. So what's that about 112, 113 grams. I'm gonna let that start to melt in there. Okay this is melted and starting to bubble. So I've got some pizza sauce here. And I'm going to just kind of dollop around. Normally I don't like a lot of sauce on my pizza, but for this I do enjoy a good bit of sauce. I'm going to add some pepperoni. I'm going to turn my heat down here a little bit to medium. It was at medium high. Be careful because it does sometimes splatter up and can burn your fingers. So there's about seven, eight slices of pepperoni. And then I have some cooked Italian sausage here that I've sliced. This was a half of an Italian sausage. And I want to say cooked, it came into about uh, one ounce. 28 grams. And then finally, the remainder of that cheese over the top. Good. And then I'm going to put a cover on it, which will help that top cheese to melt. And I'm going to watch it around the edges to where I see it start to brown. I see it browning around the edge, so this is the tricky part. I've seen people take a skillet and they just flip it. I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna do it that way. Look how nicely brown that is. Gonna leave that on the stove now for a few more minutes to brown the other side. There it is. Just slide it out of the pan onto a plate that's a no crust pizza <laughs> so there it is now I've got to tell you I've made this many times already so I already know what it's gonna taste like and it's gonna taste delicious tastes like pizza oh that's so good so excuse me it's a little early for lunch, but I'm going to go outside and enjoy my no-crust pizza.